housing developers offer all kinds of benefits to try to entice buyers, but the latest trend in real estate goes beyond the normal perks. It's homes and neighborhoods designed to support the physical and spiritual well-being of residents. So how can a property purchase reduce stress, improve health, and bring peace of mind? Manuel Bajorquez visited a planned development or in Orlando, Florida to find out. For the Foot family, every day can feel like a vacation. With time for six-year-old Charlie and eight-year-old Jacob to splash around at the pool and play at the park. I lived about 10 minutes away from here. We didn't know our neighbors. Um, and I had two little boys and I wanted them to play and uh, to socialize. And I never, I never found that. So when I looked for a new house, I said to my husband, I really want a place that has a community feel. The place Natalia and her husband Michael decided on was Lake Nona in Orlando, one of the latest successes in wellness real estate. The entire 17 square mile development is designed to optimize healthy living through amenities and events. How do you think life would have been for you, your husband and the boys had you not moved here? I definitely wouldn't have had free yoga. I probably wouldn't have been open to meditation. The boys, um, it wouldn't be as easy to just have ready-made friends. Here, yoga and meditation classes are free, and community events ranging from gardening to live music encourage neighbors to bond. There are many communities where people don't know their neighbors. Right, right. We run, I don't know, a thousand events a year, right? That's how we make a difference here in terms of the collaboration is by getting people together, providing a, a venue for people to do that. And then the people do all the work. Tavistock Development Company President Jim Sborrell says 14,000 residents have moved into these homes, which can be customized to improve health. This is the shopping list review screen. Nearly 11% of residents work in the community at what's become known as Medical City. These 650 acres are home to two hospitals, two university campuses, and biomedical research facilities. As opposed to a traditional community where you build the houses and then you get the school and then you get the hospital, yeah. this is in many ways the reverse of that. Yeah, we had a golf course, um, but it was pretty you know, modest in the grand scale of this whole place. Uh, and then we got jobs and we had these institutions come and then we went into more housing and now we're actually focused on the retail. So one of our big things right now is creating this uh, town center um, and a retail environment. And it's part of the point there to just give also people a place where they can walk to the store, to 100%. the restaurant, and not get in a car necessarily. 100%. What we call that walkability is a neo-urban environment, so a new urban environment. It's kind of the best of urban with suburban. It's a lot easier to work from home when your child is going to daycare across the street. For nearly a quarter of residents, the stress of commuting is non-existent. They work from home, thanks in part to gigabit internet with speeds 200 times faster than the average U.S. household. You can go to school here from pre-K all the way to graduate school without leaving the property in public education. There's jobs here, you know, there's great housing choices from, you know, apartments, you know, all the way through to multi-million dollar houses. So, you know, there really is something really here for everybody. Well, most people think of Orlando, they think theme parks yeah. and, and lakes. Uh, are you looking to rebrand the city in a way? In any place, especially like Orlando, that's the most visited place on the globe. The success becomes, you know, something that sometimes can overshadow other things. So, so we're not looking to take away from any of that. I think what we're doing is we're working on, you know, the other part, the second half of the story, which is the university, education, jobs. Families like the Foots are participating in a multi-generational study that looks at the benefits of active lifestyles. That may be part of the reason Lake Nona has gotten endorsements from some big names in the health and wellness realm. Well-being is the number one trend in the world. It correlates with everything that happens in society, including crime rates and quality of leadership and social unrest. Integrative medicine pioneer Deepak Chopra often visits the community for a health forum that brings industry leaders together each year. He also offers a customized version of his health app to Lake Nona residents. We are creating a city or a community of well-being, and this is happening now. It's futuristic, but I think this will be the trend everywhere soon. 
According to the Global Wellness Institute, the international wellness real estate industry was valued at $134 billion last year. The U.S. has been a pioneer with over 350 communities that revolve around reducing stress. The industry will likely grow to $180 billion globally by 2022. This is something that where we invite companies to come here. With Jim Sporrell leading the way, Lake Nona is cashing in on the trend. That soon to be built town center will boast 4 million square feet of shopping, hotels, entertainment and commercial space. For the Foot family, it's all the more reason to make themselves at home. I love living here. I love it. And I know it's been three and a half years, but I still walk around and I say, wow, this is the community we live in. We live here and I'm very grateful for it. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Manuel Bajorquez, Orlando. So what do you think, Elaine, you moving? You know what, <laughs> it is such an ambitious project, yeah. but we always hear about the importance of habits. So here you have a place where they're trying to think about how can we make people's habits healthier. Encourage good it's habits. It's gonna be interesting to see the it research in a few years. Although I'm a New Yorker, I get stressed when it gets <laughs> quiet. <laughs> You're probably not the typical person. No, I'm not your target customer. <laughs>